All right, Caleb Rao here. Uh, I'm with my friend Trevor today, and uh, today we're going to talk about motion blur in pictures. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just take a few pictures, give you some sample pictures, and then I'm going to tell you later how I achieved that result. Alright, Caleb Rao here. Uh, now I'm going to tell you how I got those results. I'm about to show you a couple of pictures. Uh, first is an example of what it looks like if you just keep it in the automatic settings. And another one is an example of motion blur. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is, right now I've got it in its automatic settings. I'm going to switch it over to TV, which is shutter priority mode. For Canon cameras and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my thumb wheel here which not all cameras have that but I'm going to manually select the shutter speed now these right here are like the number of seconds so like this is one one hundredth of a second this is one fiftieth of a second one twenty fifth of a second and I also I have it on where you can select the ISO so what I did yesterday is if you start off just putting it in automatic mode, it'll probably have something around one two hundredth of a second, possibly one one sixtieth of a second. But I slowed it down to one fiftieth of a second, and I panned with Trevor on his uh, dirt bike, and I got that motion blur effect. So here's a couple of test pictures. All right, so this picture here is with the camera on just automatic settings. Um, and it's not a bad picture, but as you can see, it just doesn't have that motion blur that everybody loves. Um, so now I'm going to tell you how I achieved that result to get the motion blur. And here's a few more examples of that motion blur. Uh, the trick is to keep your hands steady and follow your subject. So the background is blurred but the subject is clear and I suggest using a monopod until you get comfortable or else your pictures may turn out kinda like this